I can really hold the pick. It's cold. The wilderness here is richer and deeper and more remote than just about any wilderness in the lower 48. There are rangers that work here that have worked in Alaska that say it's more wild here. When you're out in Grand Canyon, you are out in the middle of nowhere. I was working on this Colorado River project. I had been down actually photographing the Hoover Dam. I was driving back and I was like, I should go check out the South Rim. I've never been there. You can kind of roll up to the rim and it, it's going uphill so you can't see the canyon. You're like, I don't, where is this thing? And then you get up and suddenly your breath's kind of taken away. You're like, this is remarkable. But then you, you're kind of like, that's too big. It's too hard for me to comprehend what's going on there. So to get down in the kind of the puzzles of rock and water down there is, I think, really interesting way to, to understand it and, and then try to highlight and showcase how lucky we are to have a place like this. 6,000 feet deep, 18 miles wide. It's 277 miles long as the river flows. You can't walk by the river because it's sheer cliff. For every river mile, you walk like two and a half hiking miles. So we ended up hiking roughly 750 miles. I knew I wanted to do this with another journalist. And so I teamed up with my old friend, Kevin Fedarko. I was like, hey, Kev, got an idea for you. And he's like, you're nuts, there's no way. But um, he agreed and here we are three years later and 750 miles under our feet. I went in with a little bit of attitude, like it's hiking, like come on. Classic, classic case of hubris. And it just beat me down, it beat both of us down and it beats everybody down at some points and reminds you how you know small you really are. 71 days, eight pairs of shoes. 13 months, four sprained ankles, case of hyponatremia, thousands of cactus injuries, two girlfriends. <laughs> Should probably leave that out. <laughs> what I went in thinking was that this place is huge and beautiful and awesome. I thought of it in visual terms. Now when I think of it, the most powerful thing for me is auditory, it's the silence. Pretty much wherever I've gone, in most places, the world is changing, and these places are going away. A place like Grand Canyon is a place of wilderness that isn't filled with guardrails. It isn't filled with trails. It still has the power, whether you sit on the rim quietly, or you go down it on the river, or you're crazy enough to walk 750 miles through it. But the beauty is you don't have to do that. You don't have to walk 750 miles through the place to be touched by it. I think that's my goal, is try to teach the next generation that there's more beyond their screens. But there's some really cool things out there if you stop and pay attention. <laughs>